Okay, I am here with the lovely Carrie. Hello, Julian. Breaking her midnight <laughs> review, Cherry. Mmm, that felt good. Did it? It's worth it. Was it? <laughs> worth it? Oh, you can't see, but um, Hoth is coming back. It's blowing, and it's very, very cold and icy, and it's starting to snow badly. It's so cold. So. There's a scary cornfield in front of us. I'm, like, expecting something to walk out of it. I wish Kevin Costner would. After yes. seeing them all, like, the little field of trees happening. <laughs> Yeah, we, we saw Jack Ryan with uh, Kevin Costner in it, which I haven't seen him in anything for a while. I know he's been here and there, but... He started showing up on, like, radio, like, interviews and stuff, mm -hmm. so I think he's coming back, yeah. like, as the Silver Fox. He looks sexy. <laughs> yeah. I like that he's a little bit of a gut, you know? He's not trying to go, like, for thin old man, just like... <laughs> I, I don't even think he looks thick or anything. He just looks like a normal guy mm -hmm. he's not trying to go for, but, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, what'd you think? It's very America. America. <laughs> very... <laughs> I was like, that's not my. I feel unit. like it was all just to meet the president. You know, like I don't oh, know, like they didn't when show he... the president till the very end. I know. Like, what are that... you like feeling up on yourself? <laughs> I'm so cold. Excuse me. Mm. <laughs> well, people were looking at us because I'm trying to get the camera, which is under the seat. So I'm going like this. I'm like, hey. <laughs> Gee. <laughs> Well, somebody was late to the theater. <laughs> Demerit. I'm sitting there by myself. And I should have just, just like, in oh. time. Um, surprisingly, there weren't that many people. There's um, just a bunch of like 35 year old guys. They weren't 35. <laughs> you say like 35 is such a bad thing. I'm going. No, I'm, up I'm there. 30. <sighs> I'm just giving an age group. <laughs> All right, we digress. Um, you can tell very much, at least near the beginning for maybe the first 20 minutes that this was based on a book. Um, if you don't know it's based on a book, it seems really fucking slow because I kind of wasn't thinking about that. It is very character backstory driven. Um, it starts out basically showing, and I, and I know this is the same character from like Patriot Games, so it's probably written oh, in the way. that's what I was yeah, thinking Yeah, it's probably of. written in the way of like, this is how he got into the government stuff because it shows him basically um, at school and in London and he's watching the, the two towers. Young and innocent. Yeah. <laughs> up so quickly. He's watching the two towers over the news as it's happening, and then next he's in the Marines uh, in a helicopter, and then ends up, and it's very like, you know, this guy is gung-ho patriotic, and uh, the helicopter ends up getting shot down. He pulls two comrades out with a broken back, and so it's kind of just the step-by-step, -step, and then he goes through physical therapy, where he meets his woman doctor that... And you know it because the, the music friend. changes the second she appears. It's <laughs> upsetting. You're a masochist, but yeah. Um, so, you know, you, you get that progress progression of... You can really tell that this was supposed to be an origin story it in did, correlation because, to the honestly, others. Honestly... Like, you could take sections of five minutes and turn it into a whole movie itself. Well, I, I There was know, so much going on. <laughs> and then it would totally go be ten years later. Before I remembered it was, you know, in that line, I'm just thinking, I'm like, why did we have to see that he was at school and saw the news that could have ended yeah. on the helicopter? Because it was just these bits and pieces of segments following through, and then he ends up joining the CIA, and uh, Kevin Costner is the one that recruits him. And it's the same old spiel of, you can't tell anybody, and... You know, your life will change, et cetera, et cetera. I feel like, it, do Russians just love stealing girlfriends and wives? Like, they're just all about stealing your woman. woman. They love women, don't they? Like, like that, I'm gonna fucking like get that you. guy. I'm taking that woman. That's gonna drive him crazy it's love every vodka time. Woman. Ugh. That was such a small part. Why are you focusing <laughs> on that? Oh, woman. I've seen a lot of Russian stuff this week for some reason on Netflix. Well, There's I, just a lot of Russian storylines. Well, watch the jackal. There's a helpful okay, Ru I'm Russian, going to. Russian woman in that. But um, no, but I was surprised because you did like the <gasps> when the classic uh, lean into the car and be like, "Hey, buddy, you lost. Oh, uh, you slit the throat." And then you know the whole, <laughs> "Hey, your plan has failed. The boss wants to see you standing there. Boom, boom, you're dead because you failed." And you're like, <gasps> "I'm like, really? You didn't a see lot that of coming?" It <laughs> is because the noises got really loud all of a sudden. <laughs> car crashed I got scared it's like when you're driving and there's a rap song with a gunshot and it scares the crap out of um, you that's what everybody me yeah. I'm just like really no um it's I it's didn't find a, anything that interesting or unique about it like I feel I like I've it. seen this movie a lot I like that it's yeah. Captain Kirk 
Captain Kirk? Yeah, he's the new oh, Star Trek. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like William Shatner, wasn't it? Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, um, it's it's got the classic elements of your espionage, save America, something's gonna go down. Overcoming personal tragedy. Well, you're gonna have that. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, but here here's the thing, and they try and. I always feel dumb in these types of movies, and if I'm reading a book of it, or if I'm watching it at home, I usually have to like kind of rewind and be like, wait, 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 I didn't catch that, mm -hmm. or read it over. And they try really hard, and it may be just because I'm also looking at the scenery and we're trying to, you know, kind of take mental pictures because we have to talk about it after. Um, it's a lot to process, and they even go through the effort of, you know, like, um, Jack Ryan's got to explain to Kevin Costner's character what's all going on, and Kevin Costner, and they do it, like, a couple times, and each time they dumb it down, and Kevin Costner's like, you know, I'm not an analyst, talk to me like I'm an idiot, mm -hmm. and then even then I'm like, okay, well, I get they're trying to bring, uh, the Russians are trying to bring a, another depression, and they're doing something <laughs> or other. I'm depressed all the time. It's already here. No, it's here. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. This is what I gather. And, and I, I, I don't have a train of thought. I have a monorail. And it's very easily derailed. So I was trying to process all of this. And then I'm like, okay, I get this aspect. Mm -hmm. um, basically, there were issues with oil, of course, and pipelines and things between the Americans and the Russians. And the Russians kind of... Uh, it was all government-y, and they were like, back off, and this is in the beginning, and they are like, uh, no, and so the Russians decide to do the war thing. Um, it ends up because Jack Ryan is like an analysis within the CIA. <laughs> what? It's just funny. He starts out doing finances, remember, and they just hand him the gun. Well, like, no, 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 you're done jumping it. ahead. Yeah, no, that's, that's after shit goes sour. Hold on, let me, let me explain... <laughs> okay. The process of, of what they're trying to prevent because it kind of, it's like there are conspiracies within the conspiracies and, or espionage, sorry, not really conspiracy, but yeah, you've got espionage going on within espionage and then the Russians have a project <laughs> and they're not really telling you that much about it. So you're watching all of these groups of people, surveillance with other groups of people and there's times where you're not really sure which person is surveilling who and whether it's a, you know, person on the same side looking after Jack Ryan or if it's, you know, one of the Russians because they're not talking and they just mm -hmm. show random people. Sitting in cars staring at each other from distances. Yeah, and, and it got a little confusing <laughs> until you started seeing, like, the core people uh, that were involved in the operations. But there were a lot of times and it would jump to the Russians and then they're talking in Russian and they're very being very cryptic because it's revealed later what's going on. Um, but you see random Russian people doing these things kind of how you see the Americans, but it's a little confusing because they're trying to be so cryptic and you're not sure if it, mm -hmm. if they're side people of the American version or the Russian person and whether they're guarding or surveilling to attack. Um, so it's very involved and I, I even had to go through and I'm like, wait, did, did I like stroke out? Cause how did this happen? And, um. But yeah, basically, it's found out because the Russians are doing, like, these backdoor finances thing, and so Jack Ryan's got to go to Russia to do an audit, and then they sell <laughs> the audit. Uh, and so the Russians are like, oh, we sell the companies, and so you can't audit what we don't own, and then Kevin Costner's all, oh... When he gets to Russia, here's what I don't get, and this is going to be nitpicking, you guys. And I'm, I'm sorry, this is very... yeah. Uh, this ah wow that was early. <laughs> oh my god! And you broke your lights. Go out in the middle of the review cherry all in one day. Ooh. <laughs> um, I, f I feel like I'm taking over here. I'm just there's, no. there's so much with within. I'll, I'll kind of try and and smush it. Um, a dude meets Jack Ryan up when he first gets to Russia, and he's like, "Well, I'm your bodyguard and fancy driver." To me, it's like, yeah. the way they set some of these things up, you're expecting a twist. Like, they kept going into the maid, and she's looking over. Um, the thing with the truck, that it's like, you knew the bomb was in. It was like, oh, he's disguising his white work truck, and they find the paint things, and they're like, what could he be doing? And then it pans, and there's all of these white police trucks, and it's like, it takes them forever to try and figure out. Or when they grab the girl, it's like, how did you not know they were going to look at surveillance footage <laughs> yes. and figure out? that they yes. were a part of it. 
So it was kind of, and again, those are nitpicks. They're movie things, but it's kind of like, all right, I'm not CIA, and I was kind of like right? these fans. No, they're supposed to confuse you a little bit. You're yeah. supposed to keep you as a suspense. They'd be like, it's there. Mm -hmm. Can you just look in the van, please, now? <laughs> the, the biggest confusion I had, and that's before they really got into what was going on, again, is when he arrives and he's got the assassin. I really like the acting because you he really portrays that this is the first guy that he's had to kill in self-defense. Like, he's shaking. It's not just like, boom, done. Hey, you like, know, I got was a, a body. That a good time, yeah. Right. And I mean, even when he Facebook meets up it. with his contact, well, no, I mean, you know in other <laughs> movies where it's like, oh, I killed somebody, I'm in the CIA, it's self-defense, and they're a little shaken, and then they're fine. Like, he is just fucking, you know, like, the reaction was very different than what you see in other movies when somebody is in a governmental thing and a marine and mm -hmm. you know um, i think nowadays they're definitely trying to bring a lot more compassion and sympathy to what marines go through like older movies it was just them shooting me like for my country well, and now like they are trying to show like the soft side and make you feel really bad for them and stuff like that i don't know well you're not even really supposed to look at him as a marine at that point except that like he knows combat training i always think for america America. Like everything that happens. <laughs> Kevin Costner, that's not my unit. Oh, I don't do that. Him. What unit oh, are you in? I'm like, unit America. I don't care what anybody says. Waterworld was freaking awesome. <laughs> now you're going to get all these comments. Okay. Like, what? I'm what? sorry. No, no, no. It's fine. I want to be it's your great. friend. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> oh, just wait till you see the comment <laughs> words. We have some interesting fans. We love them all. Um, shh. You derailed my monitor. <laughs> I think there should be an audit action genre in Netflix. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay, but that's the thing. They're talking all of these numbers and how they're going to crash it. And then you've got situations where, you know, it's, oh, my God, they're going to blow up Manhattan or, you know, like the Manhattan and Wall Street. Poor Manhattan. Um, but then the guy is sitting there that's supposed to kind of hit the button and sell all the stocks to, you know, bring down the, the dollar. And he's waiting and they're like, hey, you have to do it now. They're going to stop closing. And he's waiting on, you know, his son that you find out it's his son, you know, near the end. It's this whole involved thing of how they tracked and found out where the attack was going to be. And it was kind of like, I had his fiance's reaction. She's looking up like, how the fuck are you doing all this? And it's so fast. And it's one of those things that I wish that I could rewind and watch again. So it's not bad. It's just really involved. And it did have me it's like at parts it was like really and then other parts is come on move along it was like I almost had every range of reaction from that was awesome that was you know a slight little fun mm -hmm. to let's move it along to like disbelief so you get a cornucopia of it's true I would call it chicken soup for the American soul <laughs> is that the name of the book <laughs> Well, see, you you are... T you, I take it totally... Yeah, I just see it totally different. You're seeing it as, like, an America propaganda movie, but honestly, with any kind of espionage, CIA, FBI, and I'm like, they did it's it better. True, and yeah. Like, oh, her reaction when, like, she finally finds out he's CIA. She thinks he's cheating, and he, he's like, I'm in the CIA. And she's just like, oh, oh my God. God. Oh, okay. And we're like, no, man, no. We would not believe our boyfriends <laughs> if they said that to us. Well, here's the Because, thing. honey, I'm in... Oh, come here. <laughs> Oh, no, <laughs> I'm like, you fucking liar. Get out of here. Who's your idea? Well, yeah. no, my, my thinking was like, wow, you took that a lot better than Jamie Lee Curtis. We did, both she instantly lied. looked at each other and started laughing. <laughs>、そうですね。Kathy, the, the fiance, she's like, wait, stop, go back. And I'm like, dude, they are on a time frame. They would be like, shut up, honey, I'm working. And it's yeah, like, okay, no. so she gets to figure it out. She just gets to join like, the CIA because she's the girlfriend. Oh, that's the thing, yeah. And I mean, again, this, this is nitpicking. It's movie magic, so it's just kind of one of those things. It. When, when you get into <laughs> government and CIA, things like that, where it's like after she finds out, all of a sudden she's going to dinner to distract the main Russian guy so they can do like, the whole Mission Impossible thing. And get his key card and break into the room with the diversion and all that. And I, I did like the fact that 
they made her seem like nervous and angry but they played it up that they had had like this huge fight and things so that she wouldn't be out of place but then other times it's like she's so pro about it and so it was just kind of like okay you're in and then the rest of the movie it's like she's been in there forever and the CIA like a part of it but and I know I mentioned this and you don't really agree but I don't like her American accent she's talks British in every movie she just talked it really it was weird it just came out a little bit her little British accent but she tried to talk American like see to me and how a lot of Americans talk is like a lot worse but uh, to me it's kind of I equate it to Julianne Moore in 30 Rock with the Boston accent that like was that. so foreign yeah. to me but because I haven't seen oh, who's who's the actress that's the girlfriend Kathy what is her name uh god there's a Iera in there Tierra Knightley Oh, Kira yeah, Knightley? Boo. That was yeah. Kira Knightley? Yeah, that's the Caribbean's pirate chick. Oh, okay. and yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I did not recognize her. See, I, I like, instantly I thought I was like, oh, the British chick. How did I not know that was Kira Knightley? That's okay. why you were, yeah, you just weren't. Okay, but but here's the thing. I'm not a huge, I, I don't dislike Kira Knightley, yeah. but I'm not like, I'm not I haven't big, seen a lot of yeah. stuff. But what I think it is is because you haven't seen her talk any other way and that nope. you've seen a bunch of stuff with her that you can't detach that because to me, I can't. you couldn't really notice. It's a lot of close-ups of her face like and her cheekbones going on all of her movies. She's just always in love. But it's not the Kristen Stewart one. Men always like one. stare at her. At least it's not the Kristen Stewart <laughs> rabbit teeth. Okay, we digress. Um, the, the, the one thing too though... And again, there's there's a lot of parts in this movie, and maybe you guys will watch it and be like, well, I understood completely what was going on, and it's like, whatever, right? I feel like I could watch it a couple um, times and enjoy it right, more like the third time. and understand time, it and catch Honestly. It. Yeah. <laughs> um, but my, my biggest thing is, number one, um, the guy that is in the police van with the bombs, the fake police van, he sets the timer, and this is a kamikaze mission, and he sets a timer. And obviously that is so he could get thwarted. Um, so in the midst of this, Jack Ryan finds him. Okay, sorry, I, I digress. There's a few things where it's like they finally, they're trying to figure out and they're like, oh, well, how's he going to do it? And Jack Ryan's like, it's the van. And it's, uh, he looks at the Napoleon artwork that the main Russian guy liked and it's like <laughs> the, the Europa dope version. And so those of you who say... Art history is is worthless. This movie will prove you. It inspires a lot of villains. It does. It's, they always like sit there with that classical music and stare at yes. it, plotting things, swirling their life. Mm, the cigar facing out the window, sir. There's a problem. And they know who's behind him without yeah. even looking. But okay, here's my thing though. They know that there's this underground possibility. And then they don't figure it out until they're like, oh, no, you know, I the, the van's going underground. And it's like, wouldn't you have prepared? You're, like, blocking off everything. This is based, this is based on a book, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So there must be some fantastic epic buildup in the book where you don't know that's going to happen I, I or something. I think so, too, because there they, has showed, to be. they showed the guy steal the work van. Mm -hmm. You know, they show him spray painting it. They point it out to say again that, like, hey, they took the work van, he spray painted it. And then they show, like, because once they figure it out, they've got the area blocked off and everything. <laughs> and there's just lines of the same police fans. And then it's, it's kind of like, even then, we're not supposed to know what's going on until Jack Ryan, you know, does the reveal. So that's kind of like, really, you guys didn't think about underneath versus bombing straight in. And uh, so it's like this flooded area. And Jack Ryan's like wrestling with the guy in the timer. And I swear <laughs> to God, I'm like, did I stroke out? Because all of a the sudden they're underground with the whooshing water. And then he's driving on the road and it didn't even show them exit. And then he drives it, like, he ties his shirt to, like, the wheel to make it go off while he's, like, punching the guy in the back. And, I mean, did I miss something? Because it seriously, for me, went from punching each other in the water to driving the van and, like, punching the dude in the back. there was a lot of jumps. All of a sudden, that girl was helping him, and she's like, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, she's out of the shower saying, hey, are you home, honey? Like, it's supposed to be years later all of a sudden. <laughs> No, no, I mean, that that was okay because they were kind of doing 
clippy by clippy, uh -huh. for me anyway, because it's like you had a little bit prior to joining, then you had joining, then you had his rehabilitation, mm -hmm. then you had him joining the CIA, because basically they were showing progress with his I rehabilitation. Think it happened too quick for me to feel that much emotion about it, or feel like, oh, he really overcame that. It was like very short. I don't think that was the point, though. I, I, I don't think they're I trying know, to focus I think it, on that. They're trying to make you like be really attached to him. And see him as like a hero already, a hero in the making. Well, yeah, I mean, you're supposed to see him as this very patriotic, like, um, not stubborn, the, the more positive. Jack Ryan is stubborn. very patriotic yeah. sounding, doesn't it? Jack Ryan. Bob Smith. Stan <laughs> Smith. Stan Smith. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, no, Roger the Alien, though. Wah. Wah. Um, How about when he ran and he hit the car? Like, he just fucking ran into that car and took it out. Do <laughs> Oh, oh, you, wait, 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 you mean with the, the motorcycle? Was he on the motorcycle? Wait, which I thought part? he jumped out and run and just hit through the window and grabbed his girlfriend. Oh, okay, yeah, Straight yeah. Straight up just there's, ran into the car, like he stopped a full car. There's, there's, there's a lot of running in cars. So oh, you have to man, be he took out a fucking car by, that was amazing. Well, what happened was, and this was yet another thing where it's, it's kind of, what the fuck are we supposed to get from this? Because um, after, of course, they download the data and they're talking about these algorithms and things. So it's kind of like, all right, the data's important. It'll tell them something. <laughs> so, of course, Batty McRussian finds out, kidnaps the girlfriend. And then, you know, your thing of why do you steal the light bulb is explained. Because he's going to, like, put the light bulb in that, Jack or oh Jack God, That was an interesting way so through the to whole kill thing, someone. I know. I'm just like, all right. Give me that light bulb. Well, the thing was, he had it thought. Like, he, he yeah. went and killed that guy for like the security guard that wasn't even there when the break-in happened so there's kind of things that maybe they I don't know if it was kind of hey remember this in the book like movies do nowadays without actually explaining it to where if you read the book you understand and if not you're just kind of like all right that's something that just happened it's good to see some creative murder once in a while <laughs> the thing is, he's, he's threatening her life, and he's like, give me back what you stole, give me back what you stole, but they're in a moving car, and Jack Ryan is trying to chase after the car, like, and it's like, how is yeah. he supposed to give it back when you're in a moving car, and it's like this ticking clock thing, where he's like, give it back, give it back, I'm not joking, do you think this is a game, do you think this is a game, and he's like chasing after, and he's like, okay, I have what you want, and it, it was just kind of... I was like, well, if you pull over, he can give you the data. Yeah, that it's he, just like logic. Uh -huh. So I, I the, there's moments like that throughout the film that are just like, wait, I, I don't understand exactly what's going on mm -hmm. because you would think they'd have to pull over to get the Lots data. Lots of running. Yeah, but yeah, and that's that's the thing where around. um the the rest of the CIA kind of caught up, and then he's got like the big pipe and basically leaps over a car. <laughs> Pipe through the window, and so of course the driver. You Wait, know. a moving car. He like runs through like a parking lot, doesn't he? And, and just he sings through the. There was a bunch. And apparently, like magically, he knew how to ride a motorcycle and like go off of ramps and things. You, the second you saw that motorcycle in the beginning, you knew oh, yeah. he was going to jump on Anybody it. Anybody in point. the CIA knows yeah. how to like just you know jack a motorcycle and run with it. But no, <laughs> it's it's a fun movie. Um, again, <laughs> and like maybe a CIA it's, skill. Uh, <laughs> have you not seen American Dad? <laughs> yes. I mean, hello. It's like okay, you join the take CIA. That training course. <laughs> Here's, here's the map of the lunchroom and the weekly menu, mm -hmm. and then here's your little key access code, and then motorcycle training 101, because mm -hmm. you're going to have to be running through a crowd and, you know, jack motorcycle and do, like, ramps Because you just go, CIA, and then they give you your... <laughs> it's silly. Oh, yeah, I'll take this okay. motorcycle. The they always take the nice stuff, though. You don't see the CIA get some shitty car. Well, They're going like a Lamborghini. What's so, that? I was like, that's something they did different. It was like, it was a friend's motorcycle from mm -hmm. the beginning, from the job that they didn't know you CIA. And all of a sudden, it's like, hey, I got a date with Sarah. He's like, I need this. Push. Well, you did hook me up with my current girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Please help yourself to my expensive-ass motorcycle. That's something I really liked, because as soon as they started, and you guys are probably just like, what? Shut the fuck up. Um, as soon as they started with the big Mission Impossible plan of like steal the data, distracted the restaurant, all of that, I'm like, oh my god, you're gonna get the ticking clock of they're coming in the room, they're coming in the room, and it downloads, which they did. However, you've got a situation of uh, because his business that isn't affiliated with the CIA that you know he works for, it's some kind of um, access where you need 
the access code from the boss. So he's sitting there sweat mm. and then like, you know, they're they're watching the people. He's got to call the office and of course he gets his friend that's like, hey man, what's going on? He's like, hey, hey, I, I need to talk to, you know, Rob or whatever the boss was. And he's like, and he's like, oh, I got to do it with Sarah. He's like, that's great. That's great. And so you've got this situation where it's dependent upon other people that don't know what's going on. And his boss, it's like, oh, hey, do me a favor. He's like, I really need that access code. I'm going to hurry. He's like, well, as long as you do me one thing. And he's reading it slowly. And that was something that was different because you don't normally have that where people are giving information that don't know the situation. So I, I personally enjoyed the fact that it wasn't an out of the book ticking clock to get information scene. Mm -hmm. Personally. <laughs> How about you say something because I'm I'm sorry I'm I just running think on ridiculous three. things. I was like, why are young, healthy, good-looking people never talked and dated until he sent her over for a chore? Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. And I work at the state, and there's not young, attractive people there. I think they would have. Somebody anyway. from the state. We do have I'm people that view in Springfield. Somebody from the state might be a fan. Is just sitting there. Carrying That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> just my little section. <laughs> well, no, I, I think it was a case of him being really shy, and so I don't know. it's like they just like try to insert like a couple minutes of feel good moments to get more attached to him. But I just I don't know. You just have this vile opinion of anything in movies to, to go him. across the plot. Yeah. You're just like, oh, really? Someone needs to be set up. I please. like seeing Kevin. Co yeah, it's ridiculous. I think way too deep about it. Are you kidding? I'm crazy. It was like I'm two 30. seconds where it's like, she, oh my God, woman. You had to be introduced to some of the people he worked with because there is, that's basically how he found out what was going on with the Russians, but the place he works at obviously doesn't know he's CIA. He's, you know, mm -hmm. infiltrated. And so you have to kind of get a feel and he has to talk to people about his work so that he can get to where he needs to go. They're basically right. they're basically cardboard cutouts so that he mm -hmm. can talk to them. They're yes. there basically kind of like how I am with you. Mm -hmm. I am only here so you can talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I've been doing too much talking. You No, no. This is I I think it's great that we okay. both see it different ways. Yeah, I like no. that you like the different things. I just like, I feel to like me, is this another like corny American movie? It's corny. You know, I just thought it was kind of corny. I didn't feel really attached to anybody except Kevin Costner just because, you well, know, dances you with walls. I. <laughs> we'll be together forever. That's the one you pick. Me not, and Kevin. Not Robin Hood. <laughs> no. I do like I do like Robin Hood because that oh. freaking Nottingham was scared the shit out of me. That witch scared the crap out of me when I was younger. You changed it to <laughs> the tree. Yeah, it used to be shit house. That's a good change. Oh, wrong Robin Hood. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's not. Cause I can start going into to Robin Hood because I okay. Anywho, um, no, the acting. What do you think of the acting? In I general? think they're all fantastic. Okay, good. Young Aside Captain, from Robin, young Captain, from young Kevin Captain Kirk and Kevin Costner, fuck yeah! I don't really care a Knightley fan, but but how do you, how do you think she did in the role? She did what she does. She acts like the loving, witty girlfriend who does a little action. You don't like Kira Knightley? No. <laughs> You're like, I don't know why. I don't know. I feel like she plays like the exact same role a lot. For, for what that part was, I think she did very well. I, I mean, mean, they're all fantastic seasoned actors. Yeah. Of course they did wonderful. I think my dad would love this movie. It's kind he of He could like, watch it over and over. I'm sure he'll buy it on Blu-ray. <laughs> it's, it's like, I don't even know what to compare it to because there's so much different aspects of you've got like accounting um, where you can, it, I wouldn't even really say the firm, but of course, you know. The firm is that very was classic. like an interesting twist. I was it's like, "What? Classic, You're an accountant? Espionage. You think he's instantly going to be like, sir? We're ready to have you out on the field." But he became no, he can't like, go in, in the "Yeah, field he can't because because of the injuries." That that was one thing that you brought up earlier in the video that it was kind of, and and this was something also uh, when the guy first met and he was going to kill Jack Ryan. Jack Ryan kills him in self-defense, and then they still go meet with the Russians like everything's normal, and it's like, they know that you off the guy. He never came back, 
Um, and Kevin Costner hands him the gun, and he was like, you know, I'm just, uh, or was it an accountant? Analyst, analyst. I'm sorry, mm-hmm. not accountant. It was a little different. Um, he's like, I'm just an analyst, and <laughs> Costner's like, not anymore. Accountants. Well, no, yeah. I mean, they do <laughs> not anymore. Yep, Matt. I'm just saying, really, he's you a like, CIA accountant. Out of no, yeah. I'm, I'm just Packing clarifying. Heat. I'm clarifying. <laughs> but yeah, so he's like, you're active duty now, and it's kind of like, all right, well, what do you want him to do? And then I kind of just gathered, Save okay. America. Well, no, it, it's more so, I think, self-defense, like, be on your fucking guard. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, the movie has a lot of instances, as, as we said, that are kind of like, what, why are they doing that? Common sense, you know, uh, with the whole break-in espionage, and then they look at the footage, and they're like, it was him, he stole the information, and the chick's still at dinner with the bad guy, like, nobody's still. watching her. Um, and then, you know, it's kind of like, they didn't have them under guard, they didn't try and get him out of there, so... But, of course, that's how the plot progresses, and... Um, I'm sure tons of people love this movie. It got fantastic reviews. Yeah, it's it's not Best a bad movie. Ever yeah, I'm just more. Cin- I just like I don't know. It's not my cup of tea. Do you hate America? I really like America. America. I love being an American woman. I don't know. I think you hate America the way no. you're all like really. This is so America. Oh no! It's just like I don't know. I just can't like. I don't feel like. I didn't think the it was chills when he. You only see the president's hand. You know what I mean? Okay. I can see how that could be very epic for people like, oh, he met the president. Credits. Like, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I know he was going to meet the president. The second he was sitting in a little room with Kevin Costner and Kevin Costner does some cute <laughs> banter, I was like, they're going to go meet the president. And there was the president. It's like, wipe that look. Can you wipe that Boy Scout look off your face? I like, that, a woman that's president. I want there to be a female president. <laughs> here's, here's the thing I like about that, though, and certain movies. It's It was actually supposed to be the president. And you saw a black hand they had somebody yeah. sounding like obama so it wasn't supposed to be I like really this is... see the hand i did barely, I, yeah. I watched because i knew they weren't gonna show him so i was i was very i clear. thought they would show like the back of his head like, yeah that's a pretty legit obama impersonators I, I don't think it was an instance that was supposed to be like you know patriot propaganda it was more so just kind of he's moving up and they showed that he's got a wedding ring on now so you know that it's later and they got married finally um, and so, <laughs> you go, married. No, no, we're not even going to go into how that... <laughs> did they not drill that, like, through the whole thing? Because uh, he they couldn't tell her you CIA just unless basic, they got married. You know, goals like fight for your country, marry a good woman. Doctor. You know, a doctor, a nice lady <laughs> doctor. <laughs> you, so when you grow up and marry yourself a nice lady doctor, right. you'll be okay. You join Five for murder. You join the CIA. But like with the ending, I thought it was done really well just because it was kind of like timeless. Like that's who, you know, the president is now. I mean, unless it was a weird shading on the screen, I'm 99% sure it was a black hand. And so they didn't want to be like, okay, we'll cast this person as Obama. So to me, that's a little more powerful, but I don't think you were supposed to look at that as like oh geez it's all you know patriotic it's more so you know he's fighting he's doing this he's a very mm-hmm. you know and I'm not American saying person, I'm like American propaganda I'm just saying it's like the most typical like fight for your country movie I don't know I feel like I've seen this a million times <laughs> I, Russians I mean, yeah, always have a lot of fun. criminals in their family. Why do the Russians always have like aunts, uncles, like, brothers, like, sons? Like they're all just like hey, Italians and Polacks do too. Oh man, Germans. I got you don't see like many American US. crime families <laughs> in movies. Uh, Godfather. There you go. Is that American? <laughs> they were like in New York. Or okay. <laughs> uh, John Gotti, all that. No, but um. I, I, I do like that they didn't actually show the president and it kind of just ended on that because it just shows that he's progressing in his work and you he know looked he's, proud of it. He looked happy. He was. He looked super happy. He's like, oh, he's okay, there's, so there's people that are happy when they meet the president for the oh, first yeah. time. I would on like just, to meet you know, the president. That'd be fun. Yeah, and so it, it's kind of like look at it in. I don't know, other people's work that they really like and they get to meet somebody really high up mm-hmm. that they look up to and that's basically what that is. It was mm-hmm. an honor for them, but I I don't know. The I highest honor <laughs> given to one, right? Okay, imagine it that like you got to meet Kevin Costner for doing mm-hmm. the, yeah, so <laughs> but we can't show Kevin Costner because he's not actually here. So if we were going to film that, you would just see his hand and you would be like, oh my God. I'm okay with holding hands with it's Kevin Costner. Magic. Just me and Kevin Costner's hands on film. <laughs> Please don't just, know it's us. <laughs> just W in from Big Chill. 
<laughs> I'm just gonna tell people this is me holding hands with Kevin Costner. No, you, know, you never see. You know, Big Chill, right? That I have, I have a record to that, but I have never okay. seen the movie. <laughs> For all you movie fans, Big Chill starts out with that. Uh, well, now we're going to review Big Chill. You see, it starts out with Kevin Costner's death, only you never see Kevin Costner because his scenes got cut out, but his wrists are still in the movie as they're like dressing the body no, for the funeral. How much did his wrists get paid for that movie? I don't know. He, he got to be in like a cabin with the rest of the cast because they were actually together for a long time Aww. to get that camaraderie, but a little movie trivia. Just for his wrist? <laughs> no, originally he was going to be in it before, and so they shot scenes of like them doing that, and that ends up being the opening. But we, we digress. We I should need probably... to watch that. I have it. I'm interested. You need to watch the RoboCop. Speaking okay. okay. Well, we'll go from Big Chill to You Need to Watch the RoboCops, which I also own, to preview. So we'll take a break. Uh, real quick, though, final thoughts on this movie before we go and the other movies. I'm really into the men <laughs> The movie, not the cast. I like car crashes. I like guns and sex and helicopters. You can't go wrong with sex and helicopters. I, I would say <laughs> don't get a big gulp and go to the bathroom or you're going to be even more lost. I actually wanted to get up so bad and get a Diet Coke, but I was like, no, I am, I cannot. You can't miss any of it. I leaned over and was like, do you want a sip of my soda? And you were just kind of like leaning forward. I was like, kind of. I was creeped all the way over like... I, I did that a few times to try and focus attention. <laughs> I did too. It's, it's I, again, I'll probably watch it when it comes out because it's it's one of those movies. And it's a movie that makes me feel really dumb because I'm just watching like, wait, what? Yeah. They, they explained it again. They're, they're trying to do it in layman's terms so Kevin Costner understands. And that I makes don't, sense. Algorithms and money and the depression and like bringing down the U.S. dollar. and um, I feel disappointed in myself for not understanding every single... <laughs> You know, if it wasn't good. math, I would get it. If it was something like, you know, we're going to bring down the arcades by doing... <laughs> Motherfucking algorithms. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm getting too punchy. Uh, it, it's a good movie, definitely worth a see. If you are like me in these movies and you need to stop and rewind or uh, read paragraphs and books a couple times to kind of get what like the inner core of the going on is... Um, you may feel how, how I feel. Be felt. attentive. It's or, a movie yeah. you really need to watch. Or you're, wa you're watching this review being like, you are a dumb shit. I understood it. And I watched that <laughs> movie. I'm like, hey, bad Julian. Uh, no, it's it's good. It's got cliches in it. It's got the oh really yeah. moments that are, you know, disbelief. But as a movie, I don't think we've seen a big, like, U.S. espionage-esque movie for a while, though. Beyond the Mission Impossibles. Have we? Mm, I don't know. I don't mean Showing personally, I mean cutting out. <laughs> so, but yeah. Um, you can't go wrong with it. It's a hit. <laughs> Honestly. There's many hits. Come on. Yeah. I was like, yeah. Wow. Bow. I was like what? It was very that was crazy when he took that car out. Though. I can't stop thinking about him taking out that car. Just running into it. Like a like a T-Rex. <laughs> but it wasn't like, like Jurassic oh! Park. <laughs> dun, dun. Oh, and I'll be like the taken moment, be like, I will find you. And I'm like, that's Liam Neeson's line. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll take a break and then we'll talk about previews real quick if you're still listening to this. <clears throat> okay. You were late, Missy. I don't care. Uh, I still so saw Planet of the Apes. You did. You did. Uh, uh, real quick, we had. Uh, I, I came in during the Schwarzenegger preview because I was a little late oh, in the previews waiting for somebody. Schwarzenegger. Oh, that sucks. So I can't remember what that was called. Um, I got the 300 part two, which... I had no idea there was a part two coming out. Yeah, which, I mean, I enjoyed the first one. I loved it. Yeah, and so I I have faith for the second one, and it looks pretty, and it's got Because it's beautiful. Yeah, it's yeah. just beautiful to watch. Well, I mean, so is Sucker Punch, but that movie sucked ass, so that's a different story. I wanted to see them, and everybody said it's horrible. So I'll just, like, keep that hope in my heart that it's awesome and never oh, watch if, it. <laughs> if you really want to watch it, like, come over sometime, and then we'll, like, watch it and, and drink, and we can make fun of it. I unless, would love unless to Unless you sit there it. and you're like, Jillian, I really like this movie. What if we end up loving? it <laughs> then i know drive you home and you walk and i just know i walk friendship. home friendship over <laughs> um so okay got that oh um the geez, my brain needs food for smart making i haven't eaten all day um except i had pocky. Here, pocky pocky god damn it 
Um, okay, the Liam so Neeson one sticks. with the um, where he's a fire marshal on the plane, and uh, basically, oh my God, Brad's usually here as somebody else that remembers the titles of these. I don't go to the screenings as often as everybody else does, so they've gotten these previews. So I'm sure they have talked about it before, but that is the one. Um, we got RoboCop, which you didn't even know was being remade, and haven't seen the first one, so you're not allowed on this site anymore until you oh, watch really? RoboCop one and two. Oh. No. <laughs> I don't have that authority anyways. <laughs> um, oh, God. I mean, I like robots. <laughs> oh, Carrie. <laughs> so many movies you need to come over and watch. It's really sad. I wasn't allowed to I watch much growing up. I just Very Neither religious household. I. I haven't barely seen anything. I couldn't watch Simpsons until I was 13. I, I was never allowed to watch it when I was 13. You come over devil. And watch it's of the devil. <laughs> My little kitty ears. I uh, could watch the Alien and Predator though for some reason. Yeah, so I could like, watch like Rosemary's Baby and certain what? things, and I was like, wait a second. And but I, mean, I can't I watch really The Simpsons. Young, yeah. Um, okay, so we got RoboCop, and what came after that? Because you were actually there after RoboCop. Oh, is that when it was Planet of the Apes? Yeah, it was Planet of the Apes. Oh, and Labor Day or whatever with Kate Winslet and like the kidnappy guy. Oh, that where she falls like, in love with fuck? her kidnapper cause, and she's like scared and alone and depressed and then someone hijacks <laughs> her then they fall in love. It, it seemed really quick though. It was kind of like, no, I think your they son know. has a point. Let's go back. They and told then, the whole story and that whole did. thing, honestly, it was kind of like, and then, then they were in love and she's like, you got he's like, I gotta run. No, just stay. He's like, like I'm okay, gonna tie you up that way. Me. You're telling the truth if they ask if you were tied up. And it's kind of like, hey, you're home. Oh, you haven't hurt anybody. Okay, we're besties and I love you. And then something about like crashes and explosions and chases. So it's like a chick flick with like weird stuff happening with it that probably is split second but it's just kind of like then they show somebody dead and I'm like spoilers I just love I just actually really feel for Kate Winslet when she looks sad and I'm so like yeah. I, I was like okay it's gonna be okay <laughs> okay but you didn't think it was weird that Kate wasn't talking with a British accent oh is she British I don't I think so, but like everything I have seen, she's talking with some sort of accent. Oh, that's right. Are you even, sure she didn't have an accent? In, she was just kind of whispering and scared. I guess. Even even in Titanic, it wasn't flat out British, but it had that. A little. It's like a half and half. Yeah. Huh. Well, it's I okay what you call when, that. It's okay when Kate does half and half, but when Kira Knightley. Does. Well, I'm sure if me and Kira Knightley would really like each other. <laughs> she's an atheist, who I think is fucking awesome. But I don't know. We don't talk about religion no. on this site. <laughs> Obviously, I don't either. <laughs> well, I guess they'll have to with the the um, whatever. Uh, Noah. Uh, that they're watching. Oh, Noah. That's right. Oh, that's good that we talked about religion. Everything we're Noah's boat. Oh Russell Crowe though, fighting around the world. And they showed like a huge pile of CGI snakes going in. CGI it was biblical. Animals. They said two two of each animal, and they had like. 300 snakes going on the boat. Maybe it's it's kind of like uh, at a club and be like, no, no, okay, you, come on. That's no, probably what happened. The T-Rexes were like, please. And they're like, they nope, stay behind. Before, I man. know, they never Jesus lived together. Jesus didn't dinosaurs. Don't be <laughs> that person. I love that they think that's that. Like the person to the, you know, we will say Creation that. museum. Um, <laughs> have a pocky. Stick this in your mouth. Woo! <laughs> you woman. Oh, I do. I have, I have a couple left. Okay. Yay. Yay, pocky. All Japanese stuff today. Mm, um, that's good. Pew. Pew. <laughs> okay, so with Noah, I, I don't know if the people have talked, the people, the other people on the site have talked about Noah at all, so I'll go into it a bit. Um, basically, it's, it's Russell Crowe, period piece. Doesn't necessarily look historically accurate to the uh, Bible telling of the story. I'm mad at all the CGI animals because even fucking Indiana CGI. Jones would have a pile of, of snakes, so it's it's whatever, and you kind of expect it. CG water. Uh, they show, like, a ginormous amount of people, then it's just kind of like, they're going to start fighting because they want on the boat, too. See, this whole thing, like, there was a whole army coming after them and then but you already watch the water you watch the water take them away it's like well, we know that's gonna happen i'm like yeah, we know Noah doesn't it. die it's like come on well, it's, kind of, it's like we know noah's okay and gets on the boat but yeah. the thing i don't get is all of a sudden in another scene he's got like gladiator haircut because he's got the long you know oh, very jesus timey jesus timey hairstyle and then in later scene he is it's all like shaved so he goes all britney spears somewhere well, in the movie apparently. he could have been like praying and weeping to god ripping out his hair 
That happened a lot in the vial. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure he probably did it for a sacrificial reason or something. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, so that's Noah. And then, did we get anything beyond that? Planet of the Apes! <laughs> yes, alright, we'll talk about... <laughs> Talk about your uh, geek gasm during. Oh my games. god, I love the old ones, and I actually loved the new one. I hate like monkey movies, but I loved the new Planet of the Apes, and I got so attached. And Caesar and separating, and the first time we said no, <gasps> drove me crazy. So I'm so I didn't know there was going to be another movie, and I want to see the apes take over the humans. You know, it's going to be fantastic. Spoilers. Orangutans are adorable. What What's this one called? Dawn of the Rise of the Sun, or it's not Rise. Dawn of the... You should know. You're all, like, super excited. And they I don't even excited. know which one it's called. Well, I'm not that... I'm not as, uh... That would I'm be like, oh my god, Carrie, there's this new Legend of Zelda game coming out. I don't know what it's called, but I'm really excited about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, I have them. Okay, so this has been our review. Apologies if, um, we kind of tangent everywhere, which tends to happen. How was your first, um, midnight review experience? I loved it. It was delicious. Orally and mentally. It's delicious because of me sex and my Sex in helicopters. Woo! They didn't have sex in the helicopters. There was no sex, sex and in helicopters. It. Nobody was doing any sex in this movie. They didn't show any sexing. A lot of eye sex. Between me and Kevin Costner. You cheating on me? You're giving me eye sex and then you're all... Fitting those pockies in my mouth, girl. I'll do anything for you. And that there. <laughs>